declaring publicly that we uh, have given our lives to Christ, that we have believed in his death and his resurrection, we've appropriated that for ourselves in faith, we can testify that we have decided to follow him with all of our lives. That's what Josh is doing today. And so let's together uh, testify of that truth. Uh, If we know Jesus is our savior, let's sing, I have decided to follow Jesus. See if I can get this to go back. There we go. Sing this one more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. All right. And uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming. <laughs> I made it. Sorry, it took me longer. Yeah, you probably want to hold it. Okay, here's Josh Van Wingerden. We'll get you to stand right over there. Perfect. And hey, this water is nice and warm, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's about 84 degrees here, you know, so we'll leave it here if you'd like to come back this afternoon. No, don't do that. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, well, I've talked with Josh. I don't know, when did we first talk about this? Uh, a couple it years ago. It doesn't matter, yeah, but it's a while ago. A couple ago. years ago. Yeah, and he wasn't ready. He wanted to be serious about it. And uh, did you hear my prayer? We just prayed for you. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you heard it. We mean it, man. We're praying for you. Amen? Amen. Wouldn't you be happy to have an eight, 18, right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be good to have an 18-year-old serve God? A whole lot better than the things you read about in the paper. We heard about somebody today that... What did you say? They stabbed somebody just, to, just because they wanted to see what it felt like. You need to pray for each other, amen, and stand by these guys, and, and, and they're going to clap for you when you come out of the water. Yeah. What do you think? You can give them a grade afterwards. A, B, C, D are kind of stinking up the place. No, so we want, okay? Here's my friend, Josh Van Wingerton, amen? Have yep. you trusted Christ as your Savior? Yes. Good. Why don't you tell us about it? You want to hold this, or I can hold it either way? Yeah, I got it. There you go. When I first cried out to the Lord to ask me to save me, I was about nine, or now that I think of it, like 11 or 12. And uh, when I asked him to save me, I was about that age. And before that, I used to think that, uh, <laughs> I used to think that hell wasn't that bad. And I used to, uh, I used to think that it didn't really matter. And um, that nothing really mattered about it. I don't, re- I don't really remember anything about that. Uh, besides being that age, and uh, where is it? besides thinking hell wasn't that, I don't really remember anything else at those times besides thinking hell wasn't that bad, but I changed those ways, and at some point at, at that age, age 9 or 12, I realized that this was serious stuff and that hell was terrible. I was afraid because of that, so I went in my closet and got on my knees and started to pray to God to ask him to save me. And forgive me because I knew I was broken and needed my Amen. Amen. and needed my Lord and Savior to save me from my sins. And from that point on, the Lord opened my eyes, and now I see. And I have a favorite Bible verse that is John three sixteen, which always helps me. And it says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." I once was blind, and now I see.
Amen. Let's put this right here where it's nice and dry. <laughs> good stuff. All God's people said, good to hear good testimony of salvation. Amen? Yeah. All right. I forgot the handkerchief. You forgot the handkerchief. Oh, well. <laughs> that's okay if that's the Pray for your little brother and dismiss us in prayer, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. 